On October 21st, 2022, the Indian Army's advanced light helicopter was on a routine surveillance mission near the Indochina border area in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. For some unknown reason, the helicopter descended sharply and crashed in the forested area. The crash site was a treacherous hilly terrain with a thick forest and was not accessible by any roads. The Indian Army sent three aerial rescue teams to the location. Only two could reach the site after six long hours after the crash. Five Army officers lost their life in the accident. Was there any other technology on Earth that could have enabled the rescue team to reach the crash site on time so that life could have been saved? The Indian Army has put out a request for proposal for 48 jet suits. The RFP is being made as an emergency procurement through the fast track procedure. But a big question is, what are the scenarios in which the Indian Army is planning to deploy these jet suits? So in this video, we will find out what a jet suit is and what are the possible scenarios in which they can be deployed. A jet suit is an individual strap-on jet propulsion technology that allows a person to fly using a small powerful jet engines attached to their body. The suit typically consists of several small jet engines attached to the arms and the back of a specially designed suit or harness, which allows the wearer to control their movements and direction of flight. The jet suit is an old technology which has been since 1960. Today the technology has vastly improved in terms of material science, battery technology, artificial intelligence and safety. The Gravity Industries from the UK has been at the forefront in the race to take the contract. Its owner Richard Downing gave a technology demonstration in India. The jet suit proposed by Gravity Industries has five gas turbines that generate more than 1000 horsepower and produce 144 kgs of thrust that allows a vertical lift of up to 12,000 feet. It has a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour but can fly only up to 4 minutes. It runs on jet fuel, diesel or kerosene. So if the Indian Army is to procure the jet suits, what are the possible ways in which it can be deployed? Search and Rescue As in the case of a plane crash in a challenging terrain, a soldier with a jet suit would be the first to reach the spot and provide the first medical treatment for the injured. In case of the helicopter crash in Arunachal Pradesh, the jet suit could have reduced the time taken to reach the crash site. Anti-piracy operation with the Navy's Marcos, jet suits would come in handy to carry out anti-piracy operations, swiftly getting on board seized merchant ship and freeing hostages to carry out searches on suspected vessels on the high seas. In our Indian Ocean region, jet-packed marine commandos could effectively carry out tasks like reconnaissance and patrolling the littorals, creeks and remote coastal areas far more effectively and efficiently. With the land forces, this could well mean swift surveillance and dominance of remote passes in our mountainous regions. Mission-based patrolling could well be a task cut out along the LAC and LC in the Himalayas. During conventional operations, special forces could be employed with jetpacks in securing intermediate obstacles or passes in the enemy's rear before a link-up. Using jet suits, water obstacles can be crossed over quickly thereby securing crossing and ferry point for advancing columns. This could save crucial hours. Terrorist operations. Jet suits can be used in Mumbai-like terrorist strike of 2611 for scaling high-rise buildings in quick time. Here, the jetpack suits could be a force multiplier. Jet suits have vast scope of usage in counter-terror operations in Kashmir and Naxal operations in Central India. In spite of all its strengths, the jetpack suit has some disadvantages. Easy targeting is one major challenge. The jetpack troopers would be highly vulnerable as a target in its present form. This risk increases manifold due to the flammable jet fuel on board. The capacity to carry low is very much restricted in the present form and hence a soldier may not be able to carry as much as weapons he needs. The jet suit packs can now fly only for 4 minutes and also has high maintenance. Man-made obstacles in the form of power lines and antennas could also pose a threat to in-flight safety of these troopers. It all remains to be seen whether the jetpack suits will end up as a fantasy or as a highly potent force multiplier on the futuristic battlefield. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.